Well, it's uh, 7 o'clock, and I am going to call this meeting to order. Would you please stand with us for uh, our pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. This is the last regular meeting of the year. Uh, we have a great audience. Mr. McCann just walked in. Thank you, sir. Uh, uh, roll. We will now have a roll call. Uh, please start voting. Christy? We have a quorum with five counselors present with counselors Stefano and V. Hill previously requested to be excused. Thank you very much. Um, next up, we have uh, agenda approval. Are there any additions or deletions to the agenda? Christy? No? Mayor, if there's no. Uh Questions, so I'll make a motion to approve the agenda as presented with uh, excusing Councillor Stefano and Councillor Vigil. I'll second. Have a motion and a second. Uh, is there any further discussion on the agenda approval? Seeing none, start voting, please. Christy? The motion carries unanimously. Thank you very much. Uh, next up, we have citizen comment. Uh, Alamosa City Council welcomes your comments. Citizens wishing to speak up to three minutes may obtain and complete a speaker card through the city clerk at the start of the meeting. I don't have any cards tonight, but I will again reiterate the fact that I will, I will um, hold us to three minutes. Uh, council is holding my feet to the fire, and so if you over go that three minute, I will cut you off. <laughs> anyway, we'll then. Since we don't have any citizen comment, we will move on to uh, consent calendar A. The consent calendar allows multiple actions with one motion. Consent calendar A contains routine items which have been recommended for action by staff or advisory boards. Council may remove a consent calendar item for separate consideration. Tonight we will receive November 2014 expenditure report, approved minutes of the regular meeting December 3rd, 2014, and receive November 2014 monthly reports. Council, what are your wishes? I motion we approve consent calendar A. I second. I have a motion and a second. And are there, is there any further discussion on consent calendar A? Seeing none, start voting, please. Christy? The motion carries unanimously. Thank you, Council. Uh, next on, we'll move up to regular business, business brought for forward by city staff. Tonight, we have finance, and Amanda is here to talk about uh, resolution number 18, 2014, a resolution making supplemental appropriations and authorizing expenditures in excess amounts budgeted for the city of Alamosa in ordinance 18, 2014, known as fourth budget amendment. Thank you, Amanda. The resolution in front of you is our final year-to-date adjustments. Um, so we went through all of the funds to ensure that we have everything um, buttoned up for end-of-year closing. Um, we have some cleanup of different revenue items, um, police grants, um, some property tax, um, any items that we had originally set for um, our revenues that we are getting in excess of what our projections are, so we've added those in. Um, our enterprise fund, we have some increases in some of the um, fees that we charge, more than what we had an originally anticipated. And the same with our community rec fund, we have several grants that we needed to go through and um, show as part of the, the revenue budgets. On the expense part, section two of your resolution, um, we've got several things in the general fund. Um, increase in jail fees, that's gone up tremendously. Um, 70,000, um, then we have some additional to the outside legal services um, that's also part of the increased activity in our court system. 
Um, we have the increase to um, election fees based on the SID election. Um, the actual amount of that came in less than what the $1,000 was originally set for. Non-departmental, um, we just have some cleanup items um, of different items that we did throughout the year. The custodial staff, we'd moved a large majority of all of the personnel items, but we hadn't moved some of the, and increased some of the um, offsetting expenses as well for their day-to-day -day activities and purchasing of supplies. Um, our IT department, we have an increase in personnel costs due to the absence of the director for a brief time during the year. Um, police operations, we went through and set, so the amount of money that we included in the revenue, we also offset and included in that expense. On our enterprise fund, the major part of that one is going to be the um, increased budget for the filtration trains that we did. Um, you will see that both in the expense for our um, fund three and also showing that expense out of fund 30, 31 where we're taking it from the fund balance and that debt service and transferring it over to fund three in order to um, make that purchase. Um, we also have the, every year when we go through and we do our budget, we have our estimated balances that we show. So this is a cleanup showing that we're actually incorporating the actual audited balances. So our estimated balances were, at the time last year in October, what we thought we were gonna be based on what our budget was. Um, several of them came in at a higher fund balance, so we wanna make sure that we recognize those higher numbers in order to include in that so that we have a cleaner audit process. Are there any questions on any of the adjustments being made to the end of the year budget? Councilor Gregel? I had some and uh, we'll start on, on the top with the uh so there's an increase of jail fees. That, 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 are we saying that the judge is sending a lot more people to jail now? We're, we had to increase that to $70,000? I can't hear you. The, the original amount on it that we set last year was, I believe, 50000 uh -huh. We have a huge increase with that. Um, we had historically been going through and we set it at about fifty to sixty thousand dollars, and throughout the year, as those were either up or down, depending on what the sentencing were, then we would go through and change that. Um, we've seen a, a huge increase. I think last year we adjusted it by close to sixty thousand as well. Also, that that ten thousand dollars increase for uh, what is that all about? It's in municipal court, but it's 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 this outside offenders activity, or what is what's that? The large majority of that is um, the, um, I guess, pro bono legal services that we are allowed to um, mm -hmm. go through and, and request for defendants who don't have the funds to pay for legal. So that is something that the city actually goes through. We pay for it on our end, so they go through. If they're indigent and they're unable to pay for their own legal mm -hmm. services, the city then has to pick up and we pay for um, that defense. Okay, uh, right below that, that SID, uh a thousand dollars is is that something that the uh, the person that's doing the SID that he pays that instead of that us? That is that is that is folded into the cost that once okay. the bonds are issued will reimburse the city. Good, good. And then uh, let me see here what else I had here. Increase on the uh, sanitation part where where we're looking at uh, hundred and where's that at? Hundred and some thousand that we're, we're, we're increasing sanitation. What's that all about? What we had projected as what we would receive for those services, we in, ended up receiving more than our original projections were. Some of that is some of the um, increase in recycling toter that we got through. We got have an increase in the amount of people that were um, participating in that, so that those additional monies we are accounting for that revenue coming in. We well, also had a few commercial customers that moved to a larger and expanding their service. So, so that's uh, revenue coming in. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, I must have misunderstood that, that as a. As are an you expense. looking at the truck expense that is below that the purchase of the truck that was previously budgeted in the yeah. prior year? That's th to carry it, so we didn't do it in the previous yeah. year when it was budgeted, so we did it out of this year and we had to account for that. 
out of the expenses, the um, increase of 75500 Is that correct, Amanda? Yes. And then how did, how did we increase property tax without, do, don't we have to take it to the people? It just increases by itself or what? No, we're not increasing. We don't have, that's the county that actually puts that tax in order. Oh. What we're increasing is the amount that we received. So it's the revenue. So when we go through and we project that we have, we're expecting to get $424,000 okay. from the county in property tax. Mm -hmm. If they receive more than that, then we go in and we show that increased budget. Okay, thank you, Mayor. Thank you, uh, Councilor Rigo. Anyone else have a question for Amanda? Thank you, Amanda. Council, what are your wishes on resolution number 18, 2014? If there's no other discussion, I move that we approve resolution 18 2014 amending ordinance 13 2013 for the 2014 budget. Second it. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion on resolution number 18 2014? Seeing none, start voting, please. Christy? The motion carries unanimously. Thank you, Council. Um, next up, we have committee reports. Does anyone wish to share a committee report with us? Councilor Grego. I'll, get, I'll start. Uh, we had a uh, recreation advisory board uh, meeting and uh, several items here. That we had a bunch of items, but I'll, I'll put a couple that are real interest to the Council. Uh, the GOCO grant that we asked for the ice uh, rink didn't go through. So they will put their figures together, find out where they're lacking, and they will come back to council to see if we can resubmit that. The Lee Fields Dog Park, that's been a real success. Uh, uh, a lot of people are using the dog park. Uh, we're waiting for the uh, Boy Scouts to finish their project before we have any kind of ribbon cutting out there. But that's been really, really great. Another area, uh, the expanded winter hours have come on, and so now we're doing some extra winter hours for the winter time, and people are, are really using that. I brought up the question that we bought a elevator, it's set, and it hasn't been, a, nobody's been able to use it, and the reason is that we have to get it, an inspector to come down and look at it. So it's been sitting there, and Heinz told me that they're still holding back half of that money until it gets finally inspected. But I had comments from a lot of seniors that do the walk-in and asking, well, well, why can't we use it? And I said, well, until it gets inspected, then you can go ahead and use it. So that's all I have, Mayor. Thank you, Councilor Grego. Uh, anyone else? Councilor Coleman? Yes, I have a um, <clears throat> report for the uh, San Luis Valley Development Resources Group. This week, Mike and Ronnie Wisdom and I were invited to talk about the SLV DRG business programs and other business lending programs that are available to small businesses throughout the San Luis Valley. We talked with the uh, radio talk show host, uh, Linda Pacheco, who's with KSLV Radio, and we talked about the many services uh, that are available through the SLV DRG and the USDA Rural Development Business Lending Programs. Uh, and we let, let the community know uh, what type of loans are available out there to help those businesses grow, expand, and also hire new employees. We also talked about the importance of uh, our community shopping locally to support our small businesses in the areas. Um, also this week, the SLV DRG hosted their annual holiday dinner in which the SLV DRG's board members and the Council of Government board members were in attendance along with Mayor Lucero, who was there this week as well. Um, the SLV DRG staff, they are working on four business loans right now for businesses in the SLV uh, San Luis Valley that has the potential to create 15 new jobs. So that's what I have to report today. Thank you, Councilor Coleman. Uh, anyone else? Uh, Councilor Gillespie? Golf board meets tomorrow night. That's all I have. Thank you, Councilor Gillespie. Councilor Johnson. Uh, marketing board 
me and Joe got to enjoy a good evening with the marketing board. We had a Christmas dinner, one of the funnest meetings I was at with them all year, of course. <laughs> uh, they did do a year-end review slideshow, uh, highlighting all of the things they had accomplished through the year. This group does a lot of terrific work with uh, bringing people into our community. And uh, you guys, almost everything tourism related, they have their hands right in the middle of. So if you get in, get the opportunity, you run into those folks, thank them. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Johnson. And uh, I attended the policy committee meeting on the 5th of uh, December. I will have this in the reading file, but uh, some of the interesting um, support and um, oppose uh, issues are, are basic uh, affordable housing, division of housing budget line item. Uh, the policy committee is recommending support on that. Gaming, internet, sweepstake cafes, um, recommending support fire district service fees, recommending support with discretion, lottery conservation trust fund, uh, policy committee recommendation to oppose uh, special districts fire district exclusion process uh, uh, no position on that one taxation statutory entities authority for special marijuana taxes um, oppose unless amended that I believe is for statutory uh, towns the interesting one that I think might be affecting us are transportation of off-road vehicles uh, at this point in time, the state is being pressured to uh, set standards for off-road vehicles, um, and the and they may may be allowed on county roads. We are a um, home rule, so it wouldn't affect us as far as that goes. I, we can still either allow them or not allow them on city streets, but the state will not allow them on state on state highways. But it's something that. Uh, we are, uh, the, the policy committee is uh, recommending support as far as rules being brought down by the state. So uh, one of the things they talk about, and I, I believe is um, they have to wear helmets, the ATVs have to be licensed, they have to have lights if they're gonna be used on county roads. So they're, that, that is still in the making. Urban renewal, um, Policy Committee recommendation to oppose wastewater, uh, water conservation and land use planning. Um, recommendation is to support water and wastewater, storm management and water rights. Recommendation to support. And there are some other business issues that uh, you might want to be interested in. I'll put this in the reading file as if anybody is interested, staff or any counselors want to get caught up on this. And let's not forget that the uh, legislative session is in February and a lot of these things will be brought more to the forefront by then. Um, anyway, uh, hopefully we'll, you can plan to attend. Other than that, that's, that's what I have as well. Um, anything else? If not, we'll move on to staff announcements. Heather? As Jim makes his way up. I do have two quick announcements and then Jim has something to discuss. Um, we wanted to let you know that the city has pulled together an application through Pat's efforts to submit the DOLA grant to make, make that deadline. He had a chance to meet with Christy Culp in advance to finalize the application and make sure from her perspective we were focusing on the right aspects. Um, so that has been submitted it, as discussed with council. It's per the CIP. It's the continuation of 8th Street, which is planned for next year. The total project for that phase was about 350000 The grant is focused on 175000 of that. Um, it's related to the pedestrian um, access and then more specifically the drainage improvements associated with that project. The other um, item I have is that um, Jackson will be sworn in, the information we have as sheriff, um, January 13th at 8 a.m. Um, at the courthouse in courtroom A. Um, we'll send out an email, and should any of that change, we'll also make sure to notify um, council of that information. That said, Jim has a little bit to talk about for our new agenda process. Thank you, council. Um, 
we have a Novus agenda, which is our cloud-based uh, uh, agenda preparation package that we've been working on for the last six months, and we're finally emerging from that process and going live for the January 7th meeting. What that really will mean in the final product is your agenda will look very much like it does right now, and we'll have it set up the way it is. On the website, there'll be a new link under agendas that will take you to the cloud storage for our agenda process, and you'll be able to see it pretty much the way you see it today. That's, that's really where we're at with it right now. Any questions for us? There might be enhanced functionality, but what we want to do is work out on the staff side how it's working, make sure it's being posted and easily accessible and searchable by the public, and then we'll explore more of some of the perks that the software might be able to offer at a later time. But it shouldn't change what it looks like for you. The link might look different, but it's still going to be a PDF. Thank you, Heather. Uh, Jim, I... Is there any way that we can get in there and just kind of see see what the changes would be? Would you kind of run us through I, that? I can that run anybody that? through that. Uh, I believe we sent out a link. Is that correct? We sent out a link to the website. I don't believe uh, we it's, sent it. It's already on the test website. Okay, if you go to the test so website. So if you go to agendas on the test website, it'll okay. take you into what the new Novus will look like. Thank you, Jim. I uh, appreciate all your hard work in that area. I know you're making it so much easier for us as well as so much easier for our constituents. Thank you for that. And thank you, Heather. That's all we have, I believe, from a staff perspective. Thank you, Heather. Um, next on, we'll move up to uh, council comment. Anyone have a comment? Councilor Diego. I got a couple. Uh, if you notice on your CML letter and it, uh, our city manager kind of pointed this grant that we're dealing with now. Our DOLA director is leaving. Reese Brown is going to be leaving as of March 1. And I thought that maybe uh, we as a city could send some kind of card or something thanking him for the years of uh, service he's given the state of Colorado in the San Luis Valley. He's helped us out on a lot of different projects. And that whole DOLA group has been really, you know, from working with Christy, has been really great, you know, and so I, I think something, some kind of a card or something, uh, thanking him and showing some kind of appreciation for what he's done for, for Alamosa and the whole San Luis Valley. Also, in that same letter, I noticed also that uh, the governor has appointed a new executive director to economic development and trade. So that's going to be another position, I think, that uh, uh, as a valley, as a city, we'll be working with in economic development, and we're always talking about that. Mm -hmm. So those are the two things that I wanted to point out, and, and the mayor is telling the truth because his picture's right in the front page of the <laughs> thing, so he did, he did attend, he did attend the uh, CML policy committee meeting. Well, you know, Councilor Grego, I just love to sit in the front, you know. Okay, I, know you're right I can't hear otherwise. All right. <laughs> thank you for That's that. That's all I got. Thank you. And thank you, Councilor Grego. Uh, anyone else? Councilor uh, Johnson. Uh, real quick, couple things. Thanks for being here tonight, Sam. Filling in for the chief. Uh, walked through City Hall yesterday, and good energy. The employees are excited. We have a decorating contest going on. A good atmosphere, and I don't know who exactly is responsible for that, but it's, Jose said it's him, okay? <laughs> it felt good to walk into a building. It's a good building to walk through, but there was a lot of energy, lots of fun. Employees were enjoying themselves, and that's nice to walk through and see that. Also... I believe it was you, Christy, that, and your staff that decorated council chambers. Thank you. Looks very nice. And just wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you, Rusty. Happy Councilor year. Coleman. Yes, um, I just want to have, I have a comment about the Red Cross. Um, a few weeks ago, I had an opportunity to join uh, Bill Warner, the disaster program manager for the American Red Cross Southwest Territory um, Division. And uh, he and his team and I, we, we went door to door uh, in the mobile home park, I believe down State Street, uh, checking 
with families to see if they had smoke detectors. And um, I, I thought that was a, a very good gesture on behalf of the Red Cross. And so far, they have visited over 276 homes in, in the San Luis Valley, and they've installed 84 smoke detectors in homes, and they've replaced batteries in 19 of those homes. So if there are any families out there that are in need of smoke detectors, the American Red Cross is looking to uh, help and assist in making sure that they have batteries replaced or get smoke detectors installed in their, in their homes. And I think that's very important that our citizens know that. That's it. And Merry Christmas to everyone, and I'm hoping everyone have a prosperous new year. Thank you, Councillor Coleman. Councillor Gillespie. That's my uh, sentiment also. Uh, happy holidays to everyone, and uh, happy new year. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor, and I will reiterate that as well. Uh, Merry Christmas, and we'll have a happy new year. I uh, want to thank uh, all our staff members. Another year is under our belts, and Council, we, we've got another year under our belts pretty much as well. Uh, it's unfortunate that Stefano and the Hill aren't here, but uh, anyway, uh, the regulars like uh, Mr. McCann, thank you for coming. You're, you're here just about all, just about every meeting. We we appreciate your uh, your uh, being here. And well, we only have a three-minute section here, you know. <laughs> Ruth, <laughs> thank you, Ruth. Thank you for being here. Uh, Buenas noticias in 2015, okay? <laughs> uh, all our staff members, uh, thank you, Jim and Jose and Pat and our uh, police officer back there and our finance director. We all appreciate everything you do for us. Thank you so much. And with that, I will adjourn this last meeting of 2014. Thank you. <laughs>